That was probably the best. <laughs> that's probably the best part of that song. I also like. I also like the end where he's just. <laughs> Judaism. Judaism. <laughs> Judaism. But like, yeah, he's hyping up the crowd by screaming Judaism. <laughs> it's like, yeah. You might as well just say inclusiveness. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically what he was trying to get. At. It's, a, it's, a, it's a gay. It's a gay song. Welcome back to inclusiveness. Fuck Donald Trump. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 it's my Andrew. No. Uh, I did a little bit of off-camera grinding, grinding, and I got us all the good weapons, so we're going to have some fun with them. Oh. Fucking goddamn it. Not off to a great start here. Here we go. Buster grenade. What the? <laughs> He's just throwing shurikens at him? Yeah. I'm sure it's doing something. I'm sure it's doing something. No, nope, oh, there we go. It's dead. <laughs> so now we can play the canon. Now we can play the game like we did the first time, where we just destroy the fuck out of everything. And we don't really need the boxes now because I effectively unlocked all of the good weapons. So <laughs> I know we like we were gonna like not do that type of thing but whatever I think we're close enough to the end of the game that I figured like we can have some fun with it yeah oh this is the underwater segment of the game Hooray! yay we like this part oh my eyes are watering still <laughs> I just lost it at the Judaism part I thought that was really funny <laughs> so I've never heard that in a song you know sometimes people are just get hyped about Jesus Except for it wouldn't be Jesus in that one. I'd but, say, you Judaism, know. Did, did Jews believe in Jesus? Oh. I don't think they do, do they? No, I don't think they are. Or they don't. I don't know. I'm not up to date on my on my old religions. I'm not uh, I'm not up to date on religions. Whoa! Whoa! I want you. I want you so bad, babe. I want you. What song is that? I want you so bad. It's like, driving me mad. Is that Carly it's driving me mad. I want you. I want you so bad. Yeah, babe. Yeah, that's fucking Carly Rae Jepsen, dude. No. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's the Beatles. I want you so bad, I want you so, so bad. It's, it's driving me mad, it's driving me bad. No, dear, watch out. I'm trying to stomp on him for you. I threw an incendiary uh, weapon into, into the, the water. water. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't want you to catch on fire. Remember that one time you were, we were in this area and you were in a VS and you got launched up by like a water jet? And then you got out of the VS and then it just disappeared for no reason. Yeah. Like right next to you. <laughs> so I'm anticipating that to happen again. Not if I don't wear the VS. Yes. Alright, I have activated the post. I have activated my trap card, Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here's the octopus. Octopusy. Octopusy. I activated my trap card. <laughs> no, uh, do I have any? But you have. Because you you used your last pathetic card, Yugi. <laughs> which means that my trap card gets uh, you. Fuck, fuck, fuck you. Uh, oh. I'm talking about that fuck, 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 and fuck. Huh? Yeah. Where are you? Get over here and help me fight these. I was, trying to, I was trying to uh, equip, equip this VS with more. More gun? Yeah, more gun. Um, okay. Really, have you been watching anything good lately? Um, have I been? You haven't been? Have I been? Questioning myself. Thinking about what I've watched lately? Not much, other than like a lot of phasmophobia stuff. Yeah, phasmophobia like is my main stuff? thing. No. Just like, God damn it. All the people playing it? 
Yeah, other people playing it while, and then I've been playing it a lot too. Yeah. So it's a good game. Melissa and I have been working our way through a Netflix limited series called Queen's Gambit. 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 Um, and it's about a girl who plays chess. Okay, I like chess. I uh, it's pretty good. I like it actually quite a bit. I think it's good. Um, yeah, it's not bad. It's and it's only like uh, seven episodes. I think we're on number six right now. Oh, hey, man. So and it's like it's not like multiple seasons or anything. It's just the one. It's a limited series. And I've been enjoying it. I like it. Good. The lead actress is nice to look at. She like uh, you wouldn't like her because she's got red hair. So oh okay. But it takes place in like the '60s, so she's got that like '60s bob going on for most of it. Okay, I can dig that. I I dig the chic. Yeah. The aesthetic. I forget. It said I looked up the actress. I think she was in the 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 witch or something. And I remember watching the, that movie, and I don't remember her being in it. But maybe I just don't remember that movie very well. Is it Christina Hendricks? No, I think her name is. Anya Taylor Joy. See, Christina Hendricks is like one of the uh, one of the uh, Which one is that? Who's that? one of the redhead girls that I'd be like, you know what? She ain't bad. I don't know who that is. Uh, I'd have to pull up a picture because I the only thing I know her from really is Mad Men. Uh, I've never seen that. So. Yeah. <clears throat> You're making me think of Anna Kendrick. And she's not she's not a redhead. No. <laughs> no, Christina Hendricks. Really? Oh. I guess he hit me as he was dying. Yeah, me too. Ah! And then my ejection failed. Oh well. You knocked me all the way down here. I guess I'll fucking Toba's married to a redhead. Yep. <laughs> I'm very aware of that. <laughs> He has a redhead child. Uh, that's true. Presumably two now. Uh, quite, quite likely. <laughs> <laughs> I was watching an Instagram story today. Um, I like never go on Instagram, but I saw this one. It was pretty funny. It was uh, ah! these two, um, these two kids, or like you know, like teenagers, you know, high school age type people, you know, and like it said, like you know. I had pictures of them, and it's like two days before the breakup, day of the breakup. I decided, and then it's like you know pictures of the girl, and then it's like I afterwards I decided to like take some time to work on myself and blah blah blah. I started doing the things that I love, and then I started doing. And then meh. and then it show no, and then it shows her pregnancy thing, like you know, like she took a pregnancy test and she was pregnant, and then and it shows the couple back together. And it's like, so we got back together, and then it cuts to them with the kid, and then, like, the, the two, the couple are two white people, and then they have a black baby. <laughs> and it's like, oh. <laughs> Might be a problem there. Yeah, some people were like, how, like, how awful of that girl to, like, lure back in, like, her ex-boyfriend to take care of a kid that's not even his. <laughs> But it's just funny because from the outset, it's like this is like, you know, kind of a wholesome like love story type thing. Yeah. And then it's like it takes on a completely different like <laughs> tone. Tone like as soon as you as soon as you see the child that she gave birth to. <laughs> it's like, oh. It's like, oh. And some people were commenting, <laughs> she went black and then she went back. <laughs> <laughs> it's just funny. Because <laughs> everybody knows the saying, once you go black, you always come back. Once you go black, you stay there. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> some people, some people like my boss. He does not like uh, if a black person has uh, had sex with a woman. He says they're ruined. Oh, I'm like that's racist. It's <laughs> racist. You work, it sounds like you work with some racist ass people, Billy. Oh, I do. Not gonna lie. Straight up, it sounds yeah, like I you do. got some racist ass coworkers. Oh yes, I do. <laughs> One of them was fired for being too outwardly racist uh -oh. because he, uh, one of the foreign ladies, like messed something up, and he's like, "You know, this is what's wrong with America. You fucking foreigners!" <laughs> like, start <laughs> screaming <laughs> at her about that's terrible. You fucking foreigners coming in here, 
and dude, ruining everything. Dude, we're all foreigners, asshole. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like, come on. <laughs> that's a thing. That's a thing. I think like is maybe like a generational like thing. Like, there's so many people I think like our age that are kind of like, you know what, like. It's not cool that we came in and basically stole America from the Native Americans. Like, that ain't cool, dude. Yeah, but you know what? I'm fine with it. I mean, like, you can't undo it now. Yeah. I'm not saying, like, undo it, but I'm like, that was a shitty thing to do. Like, that was a really, like, just, you know, mean thing to do. Yes. it was. But that, that is technically I mean, it's, it's easy for me to say, like, you know, like... You know, to not really think about it much, though, because I was born into this life of living in America, right? But I'm just like, when somebody when somebody says, this, you fucking foreigners, it's like, dude, like, we are all foreigners. Yeah. yeah. The only, like, American, the only true Americans are the Native Americans, bro. Like, <laughs> I know it doesn't feel like it because we pretty much raped their land into, like, nothing that they resent, like, that they remember or anything. But, like, I'm just saying, like, America doesn't have an identity, T- technically, yeah, we're our identity is that we're mishmash. Our identity is that we steal people's shit and claim it as our own, <laughs> which is just you know, <laughs> go into your country. This is America. Yeah. You know, my ancestors they came from Europe to here, okay? <laughs> they fought your ancestors and they won. I mean, technically, we won. It's not like we stole it, we just killed them and took it. That means we won the war. That means that we get it. <laughs> we won the war. We won, we we won, won the, the war. war that we started. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> hey, that's how it, that's how all of mankind's always been. I mean, you know what? Like, if I go to a high school, better yet, a middle school, and I beat up a kid and I take his money, I won that war. Yeah. Now I true. can go and buy a chicken sandwich, and he can't. Yes, it's a hundred percent true. Like if I it's were war of attrition, bitch. <laughs> If I were to go to a school and kill all the children there, it'd be my school now. Uh, At least until someone else came with a gun and shot me. That's how it works. William Walter, 2020. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's, that is how it has always worked. Whoever might is right, Taylor. Might <sighs> is right. All right, well, to get into the facility, kill everyone, and then it's ours. See? <laughs> well, at least circumstances are different. This is an entirely uncharted world, you know, just uh, like how America we're, was. We're killing the inhabitants. Uh... <laughs> yeah, but the inhabitants are a non-sentient, savage race of creatures. Yeah, well, just like the Native Americans. <laughs> <laughs> but they were, they were sentient enough. Yeah, <laughs> but they're they're not cool. So are you telling me, Billy, that this entire game is an allegory for how the white man fought the Native Americans? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> this is uh, this is World War One. That's terrible. World War Z. Capcom, you should be ashamed. You should be goddamn ashamed of yourselves. Oh, <gasps> Sp- hello. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you. I like how it's a fucking zoomy, like, <laughs> spinning yeah. attack. That's kind of funny. I mean, that's probably how I would hit someone with that thing. Yeah, more than likely. I'd probably just give him, like, a nice gun, like, right to the yeah to the chest. Hello! No, oh, I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me try. Hello! <laughs> oh, you got him. Oh, there he is. You know what I wish? It had the Last of Us 2 fucking, uh... Gore? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I always love that in this game. Like some of the ragdoll shit is really funny. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> you know, I, I I've been hesitant to delete um, Last of Us off of my PS4 because like it takes up a lot of space, and I've been trying to install some other games on it. But like, I kind of like I I don't want to get rid of it yet. You know. Yeah, I understand. Because I don't have it. In, I don't have it in a physical copy. I don't have a physical copy of it because I figure at this point I'm probably just gonna wait and get it for PS5. Because they're probably gonna like inevitably do a re-release on PS5. You know, yeah. like hundred percent. So I think by this point I might as well. I might as well wait. 
I have it on Amazon, but it's still like full price, and I'm not paying full price for a game I already own. Yeah. <clears throat> so, but it's just, you know, I mean, it's a great game. I enjoyed it quite a bit. Yeah. We were talking about it earlier, and I think we both uh, we both liked it. You know, because we understood. Oh, I mean, you gotta. It's definitely the kind of game you gotta sit on for a little bit. Sit on my face, like a like a female. Yeah, I wish. I wish, Billy. Believe me, I wish. I know how it'd be. I'm long overdue for a face sitting. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Did I tell you I get we got a or I got approved to go to Canada in, in uh, December? Yes, yes, you did tell me. I am happy for you. I just the only thing I got to hold out hope for is that God forbid, like Ontario goes into a, a, a lockdown themselves. <laughs> yeah. Which I would hope by then, like, at least the travel exemptions would still remain in effect, but who knows. Uh, 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 who's, who's, who's shooting at me? Someone's shooting at me. I'm gonna go cut them. I'm gonna cut you. Uh. I got Melissa a box of 42 condoms for Christmas. <laughs> Just 42? Uh-huh. It's not enough, Taylor. Did I, t I told you about when I bought those, right? Mm, maybe I I ordered a box of forty two condoms specifically for my trip to Canada. Because <laughs> I mean she's got some there, but like you know I'm gonna assume that like most of them I don't think she's got that many. Um, and you're assuming that you're gonna be planning twenty four seven. I mean, well, I mean we only have two two weeks, yeah. so I mean yeah, at least once. I mean that's probably gonna be the first thing. As soon as we walk into our apartment, that's going to be the first thing that's going to happen. Guaranteed. But either way, um, when, what ended up happening was I ordered this box of 42 condoms from Amazon, of course. Mm -hmm. And uh, my dad, in previous times, like when my, when my uh, flashlight arrived in the mail, he was right there like, what did you get? Like, just, like, inter uh, practically interrogating me about what I just received in the mail. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, none of your business, Dad. So, for some reason, he's had this, like, weird, like, interest in, like, the shit that I am buying. <laughs> so, I order this box of condoms. And it arrives. I get an email. I'm, like, downstairs here, like, working on something or whatever. And I get the email that says, your Amazon package has been delivered. I'm like, okay, cool. I'll go up and get it. I go out to the front door, it's not there. I go out to the to the garage door, it's not there. I go into my, I'm like, alright, well maybe somebody grabbed it and put it in my room. I go in my room, it's sitting there, and I'm like, alright, cool. I try to open it, motherfucker's already open. <laughs> this package is already open. And I'm like, I didn't open it. Somebody fucking did. Alright, father, breaking <laughs> federal... <laughs> Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> and then he gets one eyeful of the amount of sex I'm about to have. And it's like, yeah, Dad, that's why I don't want you opening my shit. <laughs> it's like, come on. Yeah. You know, you don't need to know everything. Like, you know how many times my mom orders something and it, it shows up on the doorstep and I bring it in? That happens all the freaking time. You know how many times I've ever opened one of her packages? Zip zero because, zero because you times. Don't, you follow the law. Yeah, zero, literally zero times. <laughs> oh yeah, that's right. One of us has got to get on the ass pain and get across. Do I though? I mean, no, probably not. Uh, I'm trying to. No, uh, I've died three times. The third time I've died. At this level. <laughs> Where is it? Where is it? Where uh, is the ass pain? Ass pain? Where it's is up it? top. Is it up top? Yeah, it's like right up here. Uh, I vaguely remember having to do that. Well, what, so then what do we do if it fucking gets destroyed? <laughs> well, I could probably get across with this thing. Ah. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's the story of how my dad committed a federal offense. <laughs> and then, <laughs> I'm guessing promptly did not ask uh, what you, you're getting well, in your packages here anymore. Yeah, he hasn't, uh, he hasn't asked me anything. Oh, there's one of these little, like, flyer thingies. Should I get the ass paint or the little flyer thing? Uh, either or. What the fuck, game? Come on. I kind of like the little flyer thing, but we get that in the next level, so I'll get the ass paint this time. Okay. Yeah, we get those in the, the desert level right at the beginning. Don't worry, Bill, I want to fucking... Nope. 
Come on, get the... No, here we go. Come on. There we go. <laughs> oh, you can get in this thing, I think, too. I think it's a two-seater. Nice. Nice. Nice, dude. Nice. How do I go up? Oh, here we go. Just, just do. Just do. But yeah, no. That uh, That's why you don't open people's mail. How the f... And, How uh, does this work? You just fucking do it, man. How do I descend? Use your triggers. I am. The other triggers. L one L one makes you or L two makes you go up. How do you go down? Just hold down Square. one. Square. Triangle. Circle. Entering. All right, you're on the other side. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> just don't die. <laughs> just, I, I was hitting the triggers. I wasn't going down. <laughs> I didn't think I would get out midair. Yeah, I didn't either. That's why I figured like circle, like I don't think it would circle would do it, but you never know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh no! <laughs> what have I done? <laughs> I was glad that there was something underneath me. Jesus Christ. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, here comes another death. Yeah, I'm going to get like such a bad ranking in this one. You s fucking punk ass bitches. Punk VS <laughs> yes, bitch. <laughs> well, welcome back to the Game Awards. Asshole. Oh man. But yeah. <laughs> I've never had my uh, my privacy so interrupted. Well it's just funny. I just think it's funny because yeah, I think I think when I had well I mean I shouldn't say I ordered it, Melissa ordered the flashlight for me. Because we because we uh, decided I think um, I forgot, if it was, I forgot if it was like for her birthday or whatever it was for, but like we decided to buy each other, you know, a sexual device. Okay. So I bought her a, a vibrator, and then she got a flush. She got a flashlight for me. Nice. So <clears throat> I had to order some lube for it. So the lube, I think, first showed up, and I think that might have been the thing that he asked me, like, "Oh, what did you get?" And it's like. Lubrication. None of your Don't fucking, breathe. <laughs> none of your business, bitch. Get out of my fucking face. <laughs> yeah, it was fucking ridiculous. And then, like, yeah, and then he got an eyeful of all the, the sex I'm about to have. So it's like, you know. He's probably both proud and awkward. All the same. Oh, it's like, that's why I don't want you asking me what I what I got in my, in my fucking mail, Dad. Like, it's none of your goddamn business. <laughs> like, I don't open up all your mail and be like, what'd you get, dude? It's nothing but old world coins. You know what? You know what my mom just got recently mm -hmm. is you see like my my little like vlogger light thing that she got me like the circle light. Oh yeah. She yeah. got one of those except it's fucking huge and I don't know why. Why why would she get that? You can use it for makeup. You can use it for. I think she uses it. She's gonna use it for drawing. Like she uses it because she uses a she has the lights on and like when she draws the porkers and shit. Oh, okay. But I just think it's funny because she got me one and she got one that's like way better than mine. <laughs> well, you know, it's the thought. She got, I think she got it for my birthday. It was real cheap. I don't really use it a whole lot, but like when I do, it's actually pretty useful. I use it as like a, like a fill light when I do videos. Yeah, it makes sense. Light's always useful. Yeah. No, it's a nice little light and it's got like three or four different color temperatures that you can use, which is pretty nice. So you can kind of cater it to wherever you're at, you know? So like down here, like you don't want like a fluorescent kind of light, because it's these are kind of warmer colored lights, you know. And you get that fluorescent look, and it looks different. So, but you can get the fluorescent look, and then if you're in a fluorescent thing, you can kind of match it, which is cool. So, yeah. whatever. Next time, it's just to buy more condoms. Yeah.